In this demonstration, we're going to look at monitoring a database availability group and also monitoring as well the database copies on that database availability group. So currently what I have is I have mailbox database one. A mailbox database one, currently, if we have a look down here, we can see that the database copies are on LON EX1 and LON EX2. We can currently see that LON EX1 is the active copy, LON EX2 is the passive copy. Both cases, they're both healthy because this is the active copy up and running and this is the passive copy. And then down here we have the ability to suspend the copy, activate the copy, remove the copy. In both cases we have view details. So if we look at the view details first on mailbox database one, what we can see is, if we scroll this up, we can see the mailbox database is database one, currently LON EX1, currently healthy. Now what we've got here is we could have this as healthy, we could have it as initializing, failed. We've also got the database currently mounted, but that could be dismounted, could be disconnected, suspended and failed, suspended, resyncing or seeding. Right, we'll click cancel at this point here. We just look at the view details on LON EX2. Well, we can see if we scroll this up. So it's currently not mounted, but it is currently healthy. Then what we've got down here is we can see when the logs have been replayed, when they've been inspected, when they've been copied. So we can see exactly when copying is occurring between the active and the passive database. The activation preference number, this is just used as part of the active manager. And in the case of a failure of LON EX1, LON EX2 will take over. And the replay lag time in days, this isn't a lagged copy of the database, but this would be quite useful because we could have multiple copies of the database and we could have a couple as lagged. If we then get database corruption, we could then mount a lagged copy of the database and that would then take us back to a consistent point in time. Anything we can do within the Exchange Admin Center, we can also do as well through the command line. So if I just launch up my Exchange Management shell, what we'll do here, we'll just clear off the screen. And the first thing we'll do here is we'll just do a test hyphen replication health. And what this is going to do, as its name suggests, it's going to test the replication health of the databases within my Exchange organization. Now I'm expecting some failures because I've only got one database that's currently being replicated. So as we can see here, all of the services are running fine. However, we do have some problems with some database redundancy and some database availability, and that is purely because some of the databases aren't actually protected within a DAG. So what we'll do is we'll just clear off the screen again. Next thing we'll do here is we'll just get the hyphen mailbox database copy status on server one of LON EX1. So if we run the get hyphen mailbox database copy status hyphen server LON EX1, this will show us the status of all of the databases currently sitting on LON EX1. So as you can see here, both healthy, both mounted, happy with that. So we'll clear the screen off again. What we've also got is we've got some PowerShell scripts that are created that will allow us to actually monitor our DAG as well. So one of the ones we've got is the check database redundancy script, and that will give us information relating to the redundancy on a database that we're protecting within a DAG. So I've changed directory into program files, Microsoft Exchange Server v15 scripts. The next thing to do here is we'll now run our script. We're going to run the dot backslash check database redundancy dot ps1. We're going to run that against mailbox database name mailbox database one. Hopefully everything will come back as green as healthy. So if we have a look down here. Yep, current state is green. So that means that everything is healthy. So mailbox database one. Redundancy has checked out fine. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.